Let's graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 5, and we'll do it two ways. First, we'll plug some values in for x and then figure out the corresponding values for y, and then we'll graph those. Then we can look at the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, just to check our work. So let's start out. I like to put a 0 in for x because I know it's going to show up on my graph. So 2 times 0, that's 0, so y would be 5. If we put a 1 in for x, 2 times 1 plus 5, that's 7. And then let's put a negative 1 in. 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2, plus 5, that gives us 3. So these are the points we'll graph to figure out the line for the equation y equals 2x plus 5. So we find 0 here on the x-axis, and we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to y. So that's our first point. We go to 1 on x, and then we go up to 7. And then we have x is minus 1, so we go this direction, and then we go up 1, 2, 3, and you can see these all are in a straight line. We could have used two points, but it's nice to have three. Make sure you got the correct answer. Let's put a line through these, and we can put arrows on the end to show it goes to infinity. So let's use the slope-intercept formula now to check our work. So we have y equals mx plus b. The b here B is the y-intercept, so we're going to cross the y-axis, and that's 5. So we go to the y-axis, and we find 5 right here. Next, we're going to work with the slope. It's helpful to think of this 2 as 2 over 1. It's the same thing as 2. It's just now we can say 2 is our rise, and then 1 is the run. So we'll go to this point here. We rise 1, 2, and we run. We go over 1. Then I've run out of space, so let's go down. We can go down 1, 2, over 1. Then we can go down 1, 2, over 1, and we keep going, and we see that all of the points are on our line here. So we know we did this correctly, that this is the line, the graph, for the linear equation y equals 2x plus 5. This is Dr. B graphing y equals 2x plus 5. Thanks for watching.